Hello everyone, it's week four and the final week of the Masterboard prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. Now, this week we're giving you a couple of different options. Of course, last week in week three, we were making collage style masterboards and this is the one that I created here. You can work on the collage masterboard that you made last week if you want to. And you can see that I've already printed mine off. This is just done on my inkjet printer at home. Many of you have commented that with collage masterboards that, that you know sometimes the paper does start to peel off and um, come unstuck mine has too you can see it's starting to lift here I find generally that collage is quite difficult to work with so if you have access to a printer that would be my recommendation I mean this one has come out absolutely beautifully and as with my painter mas painted masterboards I keep them as masters and I only ever work on the printed um, versions you know they're just a nice smooth surface to work on so we can have have a go at doing something with this. Some of you will also remember that um, I used an app called Kaleidocam to put my masterboard through the app um, and change the the, the images and these are some of the ones that I came up with I absolutely love these um, so it sort of turns it into a kaleidoscope um, sort of pattern um, these are just a few of the images I came up with dozens and dozens and dozens and I know that some of you have downloaded the Kaleidocam app and you've also been doing the same so if you would prefer, you can work on your Kaleidocam images. So either work on the original, um, use or incorporate the Kaleidocam copies um, if you want to. But Kylie and I are also aware that not ha everybody has access to Kaleidocam. So we're throwing in some freebies for you to use this week. Now, unfortunately, because I've used wallpaper and Dina Wakeley um, designs, I can't let you have um, these because I would be um, in breach of copyright. So I've pulled out some other bits and pieces for you instead. Now, this is another collage masterboard that I made when I very first started Mixed Media. Um, you can see here that this has got a collage background. We've got all kinds of pieces of paper. We've got a Asian um, paper here we've got music paper we've got um, uh, security envelopes there's absolutely all sorts I mean it was so long ago when I made this I can't even remember what I used there's a piece of security envelope you can see it there and then I've painted on top so I also put this one through um, collider cam and this is what it came up with I absolutely love these I love the bold, bold vibrant um, colors so I will leave you um, these images that you can use um, as you wish all I ask is that you you know you don't sell them just use them for your own personal use I'm also going to um, give you collider cam versions of some of my painted masterboards from week one so let me just grab those now, these are some of the masterboards that I created in week one I've popped these through collider cam as well so these are the blue ones so I've decided that um, I'll share these copies and then these are the pink ones um, so I've decided that I'll share these ones here now Kylie and I haven't quite worked out the logistics of um, the easiest way to for you to download these. Um, there is um, an album in the Facebook group a group called Free Printables, and that's probably where we'll leave them for you. But we'll leave directions in the description box below. So you know, if you're interested in any of these to use, then you know that's where you'll find out how to access them. Now I've taken four of the Collider Cam images. I've got this one here on the front and I've printed the orange one on the back. I've just done this on my inkjet printer at home. This one here, I've got that image on the one side and that image on the other side. Now what I want to do is cut these um, in half. Um, now let me have a look. There is a longer side and a shorter side. I think um, this is the longer side here. That's 21. And that is 20. So let me have a, a think about this. I'm going to slice it um, in the middle, I think, like this. And I'll do the same with this one here. And as soon as I've done that, I'll be back. Now, because these are symmetrical designs, it was actually really easy to line them up and... Um, and cut them in half so that's what they look like and what I want to do now is pop these um, in a laminating sheet so let me take it in fact I've got two laminating sheets if you don't have a laminator and you want to do something similar to what I'm doing here just print them out on cardstock and instead paper weight is just too thin for this so how do I want to do this so I'll pop one there I want to leave a gap as well 
to cut around because of course you need an edge with um, a laminated sheet so I'll just pop these on here like like this and I'm just going to whiz this through my laminator I'll do exactly the same with the other one as well you might find if you're using a laminator that you need to pop them through a couple of times just to make sure that um, their sort of the pages are welded together we'll do the same with this one this one here as well this is what I've got now that it's been through the laminator and so what I've done with these two is just trim them down but if I show you like this you can see that I've left a bit of an edge I could probably do with trimming this one down just a little bit more um, let me show you this one I think this one's a little bit more um, even so I'm going to do exactly the same with this one here and then I'm just going to use my small X cut corner rounder and I'm just going to round off the edges just like like this oh here we go it was stuck these have all been trimmed and i've rounded the corners on all four of them and what i want to do now let me just um, show you with one i'm going to grab my um scoring board and i just want to line up the center of one of these notches it doesn't matter where whereabouts they're like that and i am just going to score it here like this and I'm going to do it three or four times because of course this um, plastic now is quite thick and then I'm just going to carefully fold it over and we've got the start of a wonderful little um, book so I'm going to do this with the other three um, as well isn't that just gorgeous I want to be able to use these notebook covers over and over again so what I'm going to do is punch some holes and thread some elastic through so that when the pages are finished I can take the pages out and add some more I am going to use my little um, Japanese um, screw punch though which has got a really small hole just because these books are so tiny I'm going to punch one in the middle here like this. I'm just using my cutting mat underneath, as you can see. Um, we'll have one there, one right at the top, just very, very slightly um, under the edge of the paper. Here we go. And we'll have one here as well, like, like this. This is really hard to do. Um, on camera. I've cut myself a couple of pieces of elastic. This is just um, elastic that I got from Tiger Store here in the UK. This is purple. I've got one that measures the whole width of my notebook. You can see, I think it's slightly under, but that's fine. And I've got one that's just over twice the height of my little notebook as well. I'm going to start off with the one for the middle. And what I'm going to do is tie myself a knot. Now, of course, the temptation is to tie a knot um, like this as you normally would but the trouble is it will be really thick and bulky I'm going to do it this way um, instead and this might be a little bit um, fiddly but we can do it we can do it and pull that nice and uh, nice and tight like this and this will give us a knot um, that isn't anywhere near as bulky now what I'm going to do is just trim off some of this elastic now I always fuse um, the ends of my elastic let me just cut that um, a little bit shorter because um, elastic does have a tendency to fray and unravel I'm just going to take my lighter tool just be really careful when you do this and just Take your lighter to the edges and it will just melt the plastic and just stop um, the elastic unravelling any further. We'll do the same here like this, then just squeeze it like that. That's fine. And then I'm just going to pop that through the centre. I just find it easier to do the centre first. There we go. And that will act as a really cute little closure for the notebook. So we've done that. Now what I want to do is just move all these bits um, out of the way. Let's get rid of um, those. Next, I want to do the outside. I want to come in through the back. I had to think then how I was going to um, do it. Go back in through the um, other side and then move that out of the way and then tie myself um, a knot. You want to pull it um, quite, quite taut. So wrap it over and then just tie yourself a knot like like that that will do fine and again I'm just going to um, trim trim those edges you can have it right to the top so that you can barely barely see it it's um it's up to you so we'll trim that and again I'm just going to fuse those those ends just hold it slightly away from um, the the um, outside jacket so that you don't um, end up melting it but you see you see what I'm see what I'm doing there we go 
So that's that done. Now I have cut myself um, 10 pieces of paper that are slightly less than the height of the elastic here so that I can slide the pages um, in and just short enough so that they don't um, come outside the beautiful design outer. I think I've got 10 pages um, in, in total which will of course give me 40, 40 sides. So let's just thread those underneath and I just love it. You could use any type of paper that you like, any any colour, but I just think those make absolutely gorgeous Happy Mail gifts. Now the square ones are also crying out to be made into greetings cards. All I've done with this is cut it into four symmetrical squares and of course I've glued one onto um, a piece of um, craft cardstock. Here's the other three. I've also made myself a custom um, envelope and I'll leave a link to a tutorial I shared um, earlier on in the week showing you how to make very very simple quick and easy custom made envelopes. But let's have a look and see if we can um, step this up a notch out the other pattern of the square paper so I'm just going to have this here let me just um, get the card out of the way and what I want to do is just put um, a small amount of this just on the edge of the flap I'm just going to trim along this line here Then all I need to do let me just make sure that um, I'm in camera use a glue stick and what you want to do is just apply the glue just to this flap here nowhere else it's just easier to do it um, this way so just make sure that you've got plenty on the edges like like that. There we go. Get rid of, whoops, the daisy, get rid of the deli paper. And then I am going to just align this really, really carefully so that it's nice and symmetrical. So let me just have a look how I want that to go. It's going to go about about there like that. I don't want it too close to the to the edge. Just leaving myself a little gap. Of course, we've got um, a tiny bit of wiggle room as well. And just make sure you burnish that down properly. Here we go, using a lollipop stick or whatever you have on hand, you know, the edge of a pair of scissors. And then all you want to do is just cut away the excess. So we've given our envelope just a little bit of detail, which has stepped it up a notch and you can put your um, label on the front like that. I think that's just really pretty and it fits perfectly. And as I've said, I'll leave the link to the video showing how to make custom size enve envelopes to fit any size of card in the description box below. These are the things I've managed to make so far and of course I've tried to make something with the green as well. All I did with this one here is chop it um, down the middle and then fold um, in half. So these are slightly taller. These ones here measure, let's have a look, just under six inches by four inches and of course the mini ones, let's do this one here, are four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches so there we go um, but I just think they make lovely gifts they're so flat as well these are absolutely ideal deal for sending in the post as happy mail and of course don't forget the greetings card as well um, that goes goes with it so as I said at the beginning of the video I'll leave full instructions in the description box below as to how you can get your hands on these downloads um, if you want to use them um, but do feel free to use your own Collider Cam copies um, if you want to as well. Don't forget to go and check out and see what Kylie's been up to because I'm sure that hers are completely different to mine and you'll have lots of fun using those as well but if you've enjoyed today's video as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're not subscribed already please please do hit that bell button and most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.